superimposing, compositing, working with that blue screen or green screen effect. This is another cool thing we can do with Premiere. And if you don't have that color background, you can just put up a sheet like I've done here. Now, this may be a little close to my eyes, but it's going to work. I had to take off that blue shirt that I, I've been wearing. And we'll take this shot, put it in the computer. Let's enlarge our monitor so we can get a better look at our results with these next examples. And then to the keying folder. And here is chroma key. Drop this onto that clip. Over on the right, we have a clip of an animation. Let's pull that underneath. Now we want to adjust the settings for chroma key on this top clip. So we're going to select it, go to effect controls, twirl down the chroma key. First, we'll grab the eyedropper. Now you have to hold down on the eyedropper and we'll drag it over to the clip and move it around and find the spot where we don't see too many of these little white dots. Get the similarity slider and pull it up and Underneath that, we have blend. Take that up a ways until it start to disappear there. And we have smoothing. Put that on high. Uh, let's move along in the clip. And, well, my head's disappearing there. Let's take similarity down just a little bit. And there, that's pretty good. Bring down another one. Ah, the nice warm fluid here. I'm, I'm just floating in the bubbles. Ah. Now, as you can see right behind me, I have this green piece of material. This is a good color for this, but uh, it doesn't stretch out over the whole frame. But we can make this work for us. As long as we stay inside that, we can fill the rest of the frame with that same color. Take the eyedropper over here and find a good spot. Similarity over a bit. This is kind of a cool effect by itself. If you wanted to have a little time portal to another world, you could leave it like this. Or if you didn't want a rectangle, you wanted to trace out a, a different shape, you could do that in a title and then use the track mat. But we want to get the rest of that background out of there. So the second step would be go over and get the garbage mat and look in our effects controls. We want to use that direct manipulation again in the monitor. Then we can move over and grab the corners and pull them in like this.